Hi guys, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. I cannot believe it's already time for another 12 Days of Christmas card series. So today we're going to do the first card for the series for 2017. And we're going to start out with this red card base. Now this is actually Cherry Cobbler cardstock that I got from my sweet friend Janice. And she's a stamping up demonstrator and I'll give you a link to her Stampin' Up! site and if you want to go over and check this cardstock out I really love it it's good heavyweight cardstock and I love the colors and it cuts well in the Cricut too so this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card when folded or an A2 size card then we've got some old olive and to go on top of that this is called crumb cake and I used one of these new stamps I got from Darcy's Heart and Home. I love this stamp, guys. It's music. And it's a background stamp. And it is rubber, but it's really easy to stamp with. And to stamp the music on the Crumb Cake cardstock, I used Tim Holtz Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo. And I love the way this came out. Now to cut it down to size, I don't know if you can see, but it's got a stitched edge around it. I used this stitched rectangular die. I got this on Amazon from a Chinese company called White Lotus. You can get these from lots of different places. AliExpress and then of course Simon Says Stamp. All of the big name companies for stamping and dies will have a stitched rectangle die. But that's where I got mine. So I cut that out. I'm going to adhere these together. And get this on the front of my card base. And then just for fun. And I love plaid. I had this little scrap of plaid. And I don't know if you can see. But it's got a scalloped edge. For that I used my Cricut cartridge. Called Just Because Cards. And this is one thing I love about this cartridge. I cut this at three and three quarters, and it cuts out exactly at three and three quarters. You don't have to use real dial size, just put it on paper saver, and that's what you get every time. And that's on page 42 in Just Because Cards. So I'm going to grab my adhesive and get this put together, and we'll have our card base all ready for our images. Our card base is all ready, and I love it. It's traditional Christmas colors, which are my favorite. Now, I wanted to put some trees on here, so I went to the Doodle Charms cartridge, and on page 125, I found this one. I cut the base of my trees out of some Stampin' Up! chocolate chip cardstock, and then the top, I did one out of the old olive, and then I did two others out of some scraps of green and white polka dot that I had. And I cut these in three different sizes. I've got a large one that's two and a half. It's going to go right there. A medium, which is two and a quarter. And then a little small one that's going to go in the center. And this one was at two inches. And this one's on foam tape. The other two are going down flat. And I'm just going to put my little trio of trees right here. Just like that. It's looking very Christmassy. Now we've got all our cute little trees down. And I love having that dimension with that uh, center tree popped up. Now I wanted to put my sentiment right here. And I also wanted to add a few little snowflakes out of some glitter paper. So I grabbed my Martha Stewart Snowflake Punch and some glitter paper. And I also wanted to attach that to my sentiment. And I cut these two ovals for my sentiment. I cut one out of the old olive and one out of white. And I found that oval in the George cartridge on page 114, right there. And I cut the... Let me think. The oval, the white oval is at one and a half. And then the old olive green oval is also at one and a half. But I cut it on shadow. 
I adhered those together and I used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and the Cards TV Very Merry stamp set. Here it is right here. And I used Have a Warm and Cozy Christmas. Because this is kind of a homespun card and I thought it had that warm and cozy look to it. And I adhered my little snowflakes to the back. And I've got this popped up on some foam tape as well. And we're going to stick this down. And except for the cardstock on the inside where I'll write my sentiment or my greeting, this card is done. We're going to put this down just a little bit. No, I don't think it is done. I got some Nuvo Drops. This is Autumn Red. And I think I'm going to put some uh, Nuvo Drops up here in this corner and this corner just to tie that red all together. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then our card's done. Let me try this on a piece of scrap paper and make sure it doesn't have a bubble in it. Nope, it's good. Okay, we'll put a drop right here. And I'll go ahead and get these done. And we'll come back in just a second and take a look at the finished card. Here's my finished card, guys. I'm going to be real careful and not touch it because those Nuvo drops are still wet and I don't want to mess them up. But I think it turned out really cute. It's got that country, homespun, Christmassy look to it. That's what I love about it. The plaid and then the, the trees. And I love this, this mu uh, music background stamp. Just love that. So there we have it, guys. Card number one in the 12 Days of Christmas card series for 2017. Thank you so much for coming by today. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.